Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pleb. Justin Trudeau is gaslighting Canadians yet again. Today on a stage, he said that he never forced Canadians to get a jab medical procedure. Yes, he was on stage and saying he never did that. Justin Trudeau is going out and rewriting history yet again, making up more lies. We'll cover that in this video, but before the video starts, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button on my videos, make sure my videos get out to the algorithm. Bill C11's here. Don't let Justin Trudeau and the communist government decide what you see on YouTube. You decide. Subscribe to the pleb, put on post notifications, and let's start tonight's story. So tonight's story starts with a tweet from none other than Chief Nerd, a great account on Twitter. Give him a follow. Coming out and saying, new, Justin Trudeau rewrites history <laughs> by now saying he's never forced anyone to get veed. There are potentially side effects in vaccinations, and there are people who've gotten very sick from V's while not forcing anyone to get V'd. I chose to make sure all the incentives and the protections were there to encourage Canadians to get V'd. Let's watch this clip. Ladies and gentlemen, I know his voice. This is probably going to trigger a lot of people. I know it's hard to get through, but the pleb is going to be here with you. We're going to watch Justin Trudeau together. We'll get through this together. You guys have to see what a scumbag he is for saying he never forced people to get vaccinated. Pure lies. Let's roll the clip together, ladies and gentlemen. Misinformation and disinformation is carrying people to believe things that are untrue. And vaccinations is a perfect example of it. Like any modern bit of medical... Pause longer, Justin. There are potential side effects in vaccinations. And there you know, are people who've probably gotten very sick from vaccinations on the billions of people who've been vaccinated against COVID over the past few years. But there are far more people who obviously have died due to COVID, died from not getting vaccinated. And the idea that people can fly in the face of science, well, individuals are allowed to make their own choices. There may be all sorts of different reasons why someone is hesitant to get vaccinated. But I make a distinction, and I have always have, between someone choosing for personal reasons to choose not to get vaccinated and someone deliberately using misinformation oh please to mislead and scare other people with so-called facts that aren't facts at all that lead them to make a choice that endangers their lives and the lives of other citizens so as prime minister through the greatest public health crisis that we've faced in a hundred years in this <sighs> country since the Spanish flu, my responsibility was to keep as many Canadians alive as possible. And all of the scientists and the medical experts and the researchers, not just in Canada, but around the world, understood that vaccination was going to be the way through this. And therefore, while not forcing anyone yeah. to get vaccinated, I chose Okay. To make sure what, what, that all the what did you say there, Justin? What did you What did you just say there? What did you just say there? For while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated, I oh, you didn't force anyone, but you only put mandates down that would make these people literally lose their jobs and not be able to feed their families if they didn't go through with the medical procedure that you forced upon them. You saying you never forced anyone is a lie. You are a liar. You are a hypocrite. Yes, you did force people to take this thing. Most people probably would not have taken this thing if there was no mandates in place. I chose to make sure. Like people, what would you do? Would you watch your kids starve or would you take the jab? I think many people took that jab because they didn't want to watch their kids suffer. You made families absolutely suffer. You made people not be able to go attend people's, their parents' funerals. 
I heard stories from people who had to watch go to watch their parents' funeral through a Zoom call because of your divisive, disgusting mandates. I will never forgive you for those mandates. And that is the reason I was in Ottawa during the Freedom Convoy. It was for the mandates. That all the incentives and all the protections were there to encourage Canadians to get vaccinated. And that's exactly what they did. We got vaccinated to a higher level than just about any other of our peer countries. And that incentives to get vaccinated, like you get to keep your job, you get to go shopping, you get to be a part of society, you get to not be actually segregated because that's what you actually did, Justin. You segregated society. There is no difference from back in the day when there was you know, washrooms for two different colors of people and water fountains for two different colors of people. That's what you literally did to Canada. You are so evil, so unbelievably evil. I, I will never forgive you for that. That's why we had a less deadly pandemic than most other countries. <sighs> You did divide this country and you did force people to take this thing. And what you did is absolutely evil. And Canadians will never forgive you for this. Let's go and see kind of what Twitter had to say about Justin Trudeau coming out and trying to rewrite history yet again. Our first tweet comes from Chris Sky, who said he didn't force you in quotations, says Justin Trudeau with regards to the jab. Nope, you just called us terrorists and racists, had us banned from travel, work, businesses, exactly, tried to tax and attempt to jail us or freeze our bank accounts if we refused and said we wouldn't be tolerated. But you didn't force anybody. And anybody else you vote for will do the exact same thing. Damn. Good comment from Chris Sky for mayor, by the way. This is a mayoral candidate for Toronto. We have another tweet here from Devon Thompson saying, is Canada, is, is Trudeau Canada's first psychopathic prime minister? It truly feels that way. It Every single day, it seems like he's getting more and more psychotic and more psychopathic and more evil as, as the days go on, especially with gaslighting and trying to rewrite history, you know, he tried to rewrite history with the Emergencies Act. He's trying to rewrite history here with, you know, the mandates that he never forced anyone. Bullshit. Our last tweet here comes from none other than Viva Fry. Look at the way this pompous prick sits. His hand casually draped over his armrest. It's true. He's talking a lot with his arms, eh, Viva? While he lies to the faces of the people he has abused for the last three years. Yeah, you did force people, Justin Trudeau. You are a liar. You are psychotic. And you know what? I am so over your gaslighting. I am so, so over you. And I am so ready to have a new leader in this country who is actually respectable and doesn't gaslight and divide this country. How about you guys let me know in the comments what you think of Justin Trudeau's video there. Did, uh, did For those who actually did go ahead and, and get the, the procedure, the jab, did you do it because you felt like you were forced to do it? Did you do it because um, you thought you would regain a normal life by doing so? Let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I will see you guys at the next one. Justin Trudeau, tell the people what to do. We all know on YouTube, really important. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk soon. <laughs> I just seen a lot of YouTubers do that.